I really don't want you to go, son. I know you are joking, mom. The whole house will be boring and lonely for me without you. Daddy will soon be back from his trip and you two will be together. How about you wait for like one more week, please? Mommy, you've started again. Remember last week you asked me to wait an extra week. Now, again. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Whenever you come home, I don't like you leaving. I'll stop coming home. You wouldn't try that, son. I don't like seeing you crying this way, mom. That's just the truth. Very well. You will have to promise me, though, that you will come home soon. I'll come home after I've submitted my project. Ha! This boy. Why didn't God bless me with more children? Why does it have to be one son? You have started again with your dramas, mom. I'm sure Sean is outside waiting. You and this cousin of yours. I hope you know that you two can stay here. And I won't tell his mom about it. Mom, I love you and I know you love me. Just few months and I'll be done and the two of us will be in the same state here. I wish your daddy didn't allow you to take that scholarship. I'm glad I took it, cause look at us now. At least you and dad don't have to bother on my school fees anymore. I'll call you when I get to school. Are you sure you won't change your mind and stay without your mommy for one week? No mom, I'm not. You're still a baby. I hope you know, man. You are just jealous, that's it. I'm not jealous. You and your mom always have this funny way of leaving each other. You are jealous of me, that is it. I know you wish auntie was also fooling you to the park. Nah, my mom won't even do something like that. Whatever. This final year, we have to bore Jacob. No over seriousness with book. So that I will have a carryover, right? I don't want. Who told you that a little bowling will affect anything that we do? Who's especially you that got a good grade? Genius like you. See whining. Guy, I'm not playing. You've been too serious with books, Jacob. No babe, nothing, nothing. Just read, read and read and read. Aren't you tired? I'm on scholarship, remember? And I can't risk losing it, man. You won't fail, Jacob. See, all I'm saying is that you have fun a little too. That's just it. It wouldn't harm to do fun stuff at least before we graduate. I've heard you. That's the spirit. Bring back that level one sweet boy vibe, I know. That level one boy filled woefully thanks to you. Baby. I first you to get here. Hope you know what that means. Nah, you cheated on me, Toby. You dragged my hand. I didn't. Plus, there were no rules concerning me dragging your hand or not. You are a cheat. You've always been cheating. You are going to go and cook for her something to eat. I am not cooking anything. Where is the maid? She's not around. She had to attend to an emergency at home. So she left. Is everything okay with her? Yeah, mom already called her and she's doing okay. Since the maid isn't around, you're going to go and make us something to eat. Please, babe. You like breaking all the rules that you set, but you're not the one that said the loser will have to cook, so why change it? I'm not the loser. You cheated to win this race. Plus, it's your house. I know you, Naomi. Always trying to play smart, right? You know what? I'll make you something to eat, but you must not complain about what I make. If you like, make those watery noodles. Only you will eat it. Anything I make, if you like, don't eat it. I will be right back. Mom? Son, what are you doing at home by this time? I came to pick something that I had forgotten at home. You don't look dressed like you went to the office today, Toby. What are you still doing at home? Are you okay? I was having headaches, so I left the office and came back home to rest. Long day. Sorry, Mom. I better get going. No. Aren't you going to eat some of the food that I'm cooking? No, Mom. I'll be late if I should eat it. You should wait. Wait, son. Everything just feels the same way we left it. We need to change the stuffs in the room, from the wall paints to the posters on the wall. You've got a lot of money to spare, right? I'm sure your mom also sorted you out, mommy's boy. You want to start with this again? See, I don't want to get pissed at you. Get pissed, Jacob, I don't care, but we need to change stuffs here. You do it. Me, I'm not spending anything on this room. I just want to graduate and live here. Leave to return back to your mom, right? She's calling me already. Mommy's boy, better pick up before she thinks something had happened to you. I'm going to report you to her, I promise. You won't dare do that, Jacob. See, I'm out of here. What should I get for you? I want to take rice and beans. Get out of here, Sean. Hello, mom. My son, how was your trip? It was fine. I was just entering inside the house as you called me. I hope the trip wasn't stressful for you, son. No, it wasn't. Daddy has even called me, but I missed his calls. Make sure you call him so he doesn't get worried. 
I'll do that, mom. I need to rest my head. I'm kind of stressed out. Go and take your bait so you will feel much refreshed, son. And say hello to Sean. I will do that. Thank you. I'll call you later. We both know you won't do that. Now that you have gone to school, you will turn to something else now. I may not call every day, but I'll always reach out, mom. And please don't call me every day, mom. Please. I remember the rules you gave me right from level 2. They are no rules. <laughs> Do take care of yourself and don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. Naomi, we've got to go. What happened? What's wrong? My mom is around. We have to leave right now. What? Your mom is around? What is going on here, Toby? Mom, I'm sorry. Let's go, Naomi. What is she doing here, Toby? Didn't I make it clear to you that I don't want to see the two of you again? I'm sorry, Mom. Let's go, Naomi. How many ears do you have, Naomi? Or whatever you call yourself? Haven't I told you that I don't want you around my son? And you, Toby, didn't you tell me you ended things with her? Mom, I love Naomi. Shut up your mouth there. What do you think you know? And you, what are you still doing here? Will you get out of my house this instance? I'm sorry, Ma. Don't you dare walk out of this house, young man. Stay right there. Look at her hair, Skanze. It's cause we resumed early. We should have stayed back at home. I'm tired of staying at home all day long doing nothing, but it's more like I'm in a cage. Your aunt is still treating you like a child. Can you blame her? After a child did something embarrassing to tarnish the family's image, she doesn't want me doing the same. But you and I know that you are no good girl. What makes me a bad girl, Chelsea? What have I done wrong? I don't know, but you know better than I know you. You this girl. <laughs> See, anything you like, see. I know I'm not a bad person. That remains the truth, Chelsea. I didn't say you are a bad person. When did I say that? You're kind of saying it, Chelsea. Well, I'm looking for someone who will take me out today and pay for our bills. Is that the good girl talking or the bad girl in you? How does looking for someone to pay our meal mean anything here? I'll pay for our school meal. We just even resume school. First time in history. Who gave you money this time around? Your babe or your sugar daddy? You are the one that gave me money. So because I want to pay your food, someone must give me money. I don't have my own money. I told you I want to eat. Are you bringing me to the bar? The restaurant and the bar. I told you everywhere was filled up, didn't I? Yeah, you said that. Look over there, Jacob. Check them out. They look like freshers. New students. What if they are new students? See, I'm hungry. We are going to wait for our order, as I told you. Yeah, it's filled up, didn't I? Yes, you said so. But the only thing on my mind is having food to eat. Let's go and say hello to the ladies over there. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a newbie. Not interested. Remember that we're going to have fun this semester. So come on, man. Why don't you go alone? There are two ladies out there. One for you and one for me, man. First day in school and girls are the only ones on your mind. Yeah, because they make the world go round. Come on, let's go. You don't even have a woman yet in your life. Not looking for a woman. I don't have any money to spend on ladies. Stingy. Mom, what's mean of all that? Didn't you tell me that you and Naomi are no longer together? Yes, I did. But that's only because you didn't want to hear me out. So you're still seeing her? I love her, mom. And I want to build a future with her. Never. Did you hear what I said, Toby? It will never happen, son. Mommy, we've been dating each other for a long time. All these years. I told you right from when you started those secondary school love that it would never happen. Didn't I tell you? I love her so much. I do. Instead of you to be at work, you're here doing what I don't know. Mom? You are meant to be at work, or do you think because I'm part of the board of directors, you won't lose your job? You are threatening to sack me, right? I think I've made everything way too easy for you. That's why you're acting this way. I love Naomi, and I'm going to be with her. That will never happen. And let me tell you something. You better not do something that will make me really angry, because you won't like me. Whatever, mom. Where the hell are you going to? Anywhere but here. What's with the face? Toby's mom knows how to ruin stuffs for me and Toby. Oh, <laughs> she caught you guys or what? Yes, she did. But we weren't doing anything, no. I didn't think she would be at home. If not, I wouldn't have even gone there. What did she say to you? To leave her son and that she doesn't want us to be together at all. Why are you still doing it? Because we both love ourselves. Stop asking me questions that you already know the answer to if I'm not in the mood. You know what? Come and help me in the kitchen. Let's make something yummy to eat. I'm not hungry, Eve. See, I've got a lot on my head. Leave me. You are thinking of your future mother-in-law. Do you think she will ever allow me to marry Toby? Maybe. Maybe not. But you shouldn't waste your time on him if it will end in tears. It won't end in tears. You're not even helping matters here. I'm going to my room. Am I kidding? 
See, I'm just joking with you. Why won't mom just allow me to be with the person I love? What did Naomi even do to her that she doesn't like her? I can't even think of anything wrong that she did. I just can't. I just hope mom doesn't end up breaking the love that we both share. Hey, baby girl. Hey, boo. Hope you're doing fine. How can I be fine, Naomi? It's what has happened to us today. It's not the first time. You know we are even lucky this time around. You know, right? You seem to be in a bright mood this evening. What happened? See, I'm sorry I didn't pick your call earlier on. Do you know how scared I was when you didn't respond to my calls? I even came by the house, but Eve told me that you were not home. Yeah, I wasn't home. I knew you were mad at me already, as I didn't see you at home and you didn't pick my calls, but I'm sorry. It's okay. I hope you didn't get into any trouble with your mom. Why do you keep mentioning her over and over again? I'm sorry, but you know she's your mother. I'm sorry about how everything went, Naomi. See, I'm truly sorry. It's okay. I shouldn't even be mad at you, cause I'm meant to be used to you by now. Don't get used to something that is not good, Naomi. Do you think we should go on a break? Why? Of course not. We can't go on a break, Naomi. Never. Hello, beautiful ladies. How's the evening going? It's going on well. I'm Sean, and this is my brother Jacob. Okay. Well, what's the issue here? There's no issue here. We were just sitting over there when we saw you beautiful ladies sitting here and decided to come and keep your company. Did you just hear what they said, Phil? I heard it. But it's not like we are looking for company here. Or did you see any sign out there that says we are looking for people to sit with? We are not interested in having you guys sit with us. Of course I know that. But it's just that. We are not interested in having you guys sit with us. Okay, no problem. But can I get your name at least? Since I already got that your friend's name here is Faith. What's yours? Hope? You are funny, Shane. But you are kind of disturbing us over here. What's with your friend? He hasn't even said a single word to us. Jacob, say something to them. I've got nothing to say. They already made it clear that they don't want us here with them. So what do I need to say? Don't mind my friend here. I'll be outside, man. Please don't stay too long. So, so rude. Let me guess. It was your idea that you both come here, right? I'm sorry about my friend. He's in a bad mood tonight. Can I have your number? No. You've got to come for this week's fellowship. Good evening, brother. Please, will you come for fellowship this week? You are the new fellowship president. I am not, but I'm one of the workers in the fellowship. How are you able to cope with both your studies and fellowship? I wanted to join in my first year, but it was really stressful for me. <laughs> I hear people say that a lot, but you should be able to create time for God, don't you agree with me? Not at the risk of failing my exams. I haven't failed any exams, and I'm doing very well with my studies. You must be very very smart then, I must say. Thank you, but I don't see myself as being a smart lady, so are you going to come to fellowship this weekend? I'll just think about it, but I'm not promising you anything. How about I take your phone number so I can remind you? Let me have your phone number instead. Let me call you when I'm coming. We could both just exchange phone numbers instead. Did you notice the way the guy did? Yeah, but you were too harsh on them. That was what I feel. I was harsh? In what way was I harsh, Faith? Me that said I'm looking for a man that will pay our bills. You think those guys have money to pay for all the food we eat? How much have we even eaten? The food isn't that much. See? I'm not interested in those small small boys. You should know this, Faith. You may not be interested in them, but I am not going to be following any sugar daddy. It's young guys like them I would love to settle with. Whatever you say. I think I like that guy, the one who is quiet. You love people who are arrogant. Faith, did you see the way he was feeling himself? Like he was standing there, like as though he didn't want to come here. I think he's shy. That's just his Chelsea. Stop following these small, small boys. Even if you like them, you should not show it to him that you've got feelings for him. You and all your love, Rose. I'm single and ready to be a double. I need someone in my life that I can build a future with. You know that we are rounding up with school very, very soon. So you want to rush and get married? You don't want to enjoy yourself anymore? Which enjoyment is there? See, I want to do fast and be free from all forms of bondage in my aunt's house. And only through marriage can I get it. You know that I was going to come over, so why are you acting like this? Are you still mad at me? I told you already that I'm not mad at you, and I mean it. Are you the only one at home, or Eve is around? Eve is inside the bedroom. She's resting before she goes to work. Oh, I was thinking of spending the night here. Bad idea. Your mom will be mad at you, and you know it. I don't care, really. She can be mad for all I care. So far, you are not mad at me. How long do we have to keep doing this? Like this hide and seek now. There is no hide and seek here. I took you home. I've been doing that. 
your mom doesn't want me that's not answering that's not something new i won't be the first couple who's got to deal with rejection from parents just pray that all things work out for me i'll soon have my own place finally yeah at least if i've got my place there's no way my mom will bring her issues to us i hope you finally rent this house because you've been saying this ever since i'll do it this time around nothing will stop me mommy's boy who's that me or someone else you of course this is not just kill me that's it what did he do this time around would you believe that he's still seeing the girl despite all my talks i thought he was still going to keep seeing her didn't i all these past years he has been lying to me that he has caught off ties with her he's trying to make you happy be lying to me lying to his own mother what are you going to do about this now i don't even know yet he had brought her to the house thinking i was at work imagine what if i wasn't around this isn't the first time he's bringing her home hope you know Jeanette, see this boy just wants to kill me. Why can't he listen to his mother and be obedient to me? And you know it wasn't like this. Love makes people do stupid things. Remember when you were also a young adult? I didn't do stuff like this. I listened to my parents and see where I am today. Well, you've got to find a way to convince your son to listen to you. I've been trading carefully with him because he has been making his own money and that means he can get his freedom at any time. Cut off his allowances. Don't you still give him monthly allowances? That's from that account. Cut it off and see if he wouldn't listen to you. Even his job sack him. Isn't that kind of tool for him to deal with? You want him to leave that girl, don't you? So pressurize him on all sides till he listens to you with darling friend. See, if it was my son, long before now he would have left that girl. What does she even have that keeping him stuck on her? She's got nothing. See, I wouldn't have a problem if only you wanted to sleep with her and let her go. But this their relationship, it's way too long. Since secondary school, little did I know it would lead to this level. Are you going to say hello to me? Good morning, Faith. You still remember my name, but you were just going to walk by. I wasn't sure if you would respond to my greetings as I recall our last conversation. That conversation wasn't between you and I, but between me and your friend, Shan. Oh, really? You barely said a word that day, just all quiet. Are you a shy person? Do I look shy to you? Tell me. You seem to be talking today compared to the last time we saw. Are you heading to class or? No, I'm done with my lectures already. Just heading home. Off campus or hostel? I stay off campus and I guess you also stay off, right? Yes, I do. I and my brother stay together. Sean is your brother? Yes, he's my cousin brother. Tell me he's your cousin, not brother. You Nigeria and your is my brother. She's my sister. Instead of saying it for what it is. You finally decided to come out. I'm not going to fellowship today. See, I'm tired like this. You promised me that you're going to come with me for this program. Kelly, I got a lot of stuff to do right now. You know I went to work yesterday. You keep creating excuses every time. I would have said Naomi should go with you, but she's inside with Abu. Toby's around. Yeah, he spent the night. Two lovebirds enjoying themselves. You all need to repent and come off this. I hope you know right. Thank you, Mommy Jill. You know, I still remember when you were doing your own stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just waiting for you to have a man in your life. Let me see if you still be like this. I'm going to still be this way, sister. See, I'm heading to fellowship. Pray for sinners like us, please. I will do just that. I'll pray for God to touch all your hearts. Amen, sister. Amen. So we are both going to be graduating this year. Yes, we will. Finally, after a long, long while. Yeah, but you know, when I saw you, I thought maybe you were a new student. Do I look that young? It's not about how young or old one looks. The way you were all calm. <laughs> you are funny, Fitz. So where is your apartment here? You see the yellow case? You go inside and the first room by your left is mine. Yellow house. I've heard lots of stuff on you guys' apartments. Hope it's all good stuff you've been hearing. You know the story is better than me. Not everything you hear is true. Well, I've got to go. I as well. It was nice meeting you, Fitz. Same here, Jacob. You're way cooler this way. I'm always cool. One of the coolest guys you ever meet, believe me. Good morning, Mom. Where are you coming from by this time? I was at my friend's place. At your friend's place? And you didn't think to reach out to me that you won't be coming home? My phone went off. I'm sorry. You are beginning to show some behavior that I totally do not understand. What's wrong with you, son? I didn't do anything, Mom. I have to go to the office. Acting like you really care about the office. Why we both know you don't? Would you rather that I sit down at home? And do nothing at all. We need to talk about everything that's going on. Like you lying to me and still going to see that lady. I don't start my mornings like this, mom. We need to talk. Did you hear what I just said? So stop defying all my orders and respect me. At least, for once. Or did I raise a son that I can't talk to? You didn't. What is it, mom? I hope this isn't about Naomi. You and I know it's definitely about her. 
why don't I take the lead on this conversation? How about you tell me why you've got an issue with her and don't want me to be with her?